Hi guys, it's Roxy and today is Saturday, October 26th. So I have another online exclusive that I bought that I wanted to introduce you to. Uh, let me grab a piece of basic white 4x12 and we'll get started with this. All right. So it's a six piece stamp set. It is a six piece die set. All right, and we're gonna do a couple different stampings of each because the dies you can use to cut out as the whole image or just the flowers themselves. And then here's the other items that match up to stamps. So let's go ahead and show that to you. First thing I'm gonna do is I am going to take the flowers and I'm going to stamp a couple times. Oh, sorry, that was very loud. I'm going to stamp a couple times over here so we can cut those out. Now, this is a distinctive stamp set, which means it's there's etching and variations on the stamp so that it comes out looking like textured, as you can see here. Now, if it doesn't show up like that, you probably need to move your ink off of your uh, stamp pad a little bit. That way it will show through. And I did do that earlier with my old olive pad because it is a newer pad. And let me go ahead. I'll bring this over here. We're going to stamp this this way. I think we're going to do a couple like this. Now see how that is? I'm not sure if that is the greatest inking job that I did. Now I did move the ink around, so maybe I moved it too much. But let me go stamp pad to stamp and see if that works better. And maybe I didn't do enough pressure. Let me get out my little... All right, there we go. Looks a little bit better there. Let me go ahead and close up this. Now, for the two-step stamping part, I want to show you something because this frustrated me. So see how these are showing here? So you think it matches up that way here? It doesn't. Now, for those of you who are that be right brain or left brain? I don't know. Don't take this as how this looks. Because what you want to do is these little steps here are, they go here. Let me make sure that's the right way. Yes. So see how this comes up and this comes up? That's going to be where those uh, flowers go. So I'm going to get there. And then I'm going to make sure that these two little ones right here are on their stems too. So let's go like that and go down. So see, it's upside down to what you're usually thinking. Oh, and I got that one a little bit off. So let's do that again, because I'm getting these. What I'm trying to do is get these two step stems and that stem kind of lined up. So let me, maybe I did it. All right, there, that looks more like it. Did I get my head in the shot? Sorry. So there you are. And that one, as you can see, I'm just a little bit off on. Um, so, and I think this one needs to go up a little bit more, but you get the gist of it. And I'll, I'll practice a little bit more. I don't like pre-record and edit and do all of that stuff. And I haven't played with this set, so you're getting the live out of the box version for me. So I think that has to go just up a little bit because then that would bring that up over and that would bring. But yes, so how it looks here is not how it stamps on here. It's upside down. All right, just so you know. Let's go ahead and do these other little ones over here. All right, so this is another leaf 
that looks like that's here's another leaf and I think this is another leaf yeah that's definitely Latin flowers now this I already did that one this is the one I didn't do yet all right let's bring that over here go back to my petunia pot and this is definitely a flower. I think this goes probably right here. All right, because I don't think they really match up here. No. I'll do it there, but, oh, it might be. Huh, I don't know. I'll do more research throughout the day. So when we make the examples, or I show you the examples tomorrow, you'll, you'll have it down pat, all right? So let me bring over, oh my goodness, let me grab my Stampin' Cut Emboss machine over here on my side. My side counter. And let's show you how those dies work out. All right. So I have my platform one, my thin die adapter two, that's what you're going to be using on any, well, any current dies. For some of the older dies that you might have um, from other companies than that, you would probably take the two out. All right, but with ours, everything goes. All right, so let me show you that this one cuts out the full image. Let's figure out which way it is. So there, see I'm going right around. Yeah, I really stamped that one off. You know what, I wonder if it'd be easier if I had cut it first and then stamped. That might have been the smarter thing to do. Roxy, remember that for next time. All right, let me tape this down. Get that cutting plate underneath there and sandwich that in. In fact, we might try that here. We might try that here. All right. Oh, always remember to rip your tape off at an angle. That way you're less likely to tear your paper could tell it was starting to tear so yeah see I got some of those flowers cut off so what let me try it here see here's where I was really trying earlier and that came out a little bit better let me see if I can cut one of those off because this one looks like it's pretty good so if we go please I'm gonna be a little bit off. Can you see that? I'm going to be a little bit off, but I'd rather cut off the leaves than the flowers. Oh, now I moved it. Let me cut. Let me go right there. Let's try this one going through. Yes. So, yeah, I didn't sit down. I stamped it like twice. I thought, oh, I'm an expert. Let me start my video. Guess what? I was still off. I feel like you need to kind of stamp and play with it probably for maybe a good 10, 15 minutes. But this one is so much better. Look at that. All right. So then you also have this that just cuts out the flower parts. So let's go ahead and put that in there cut off the flower parts when I'm not showing videos I actually am using my magnetic pad or a plate that was retired by Stampin Up because there was quality issues I never had the issues but I might have been the lucky one I mean it is peeling a little bit peels up but I just for things like this because 
I really, the tape really bothers me because it rips my card all the time. So then look at all of those. Let me do that at an angle. Look at all those gorgeous flowers that that cuts out, that one die cuts out. So now you can go ahead and you could put those, oops, sorry. You can put those onto your card base. Hang on. You need to get the little scraper my son made me with his 3D printer. Get all of those in there. All right. Now there's a lot of staff electricity, but here you are. You have those that you can mount on. Then you also have the other dies. You have, now this, see, I did it probably at the wrong time because this is just going to cut out that. And I already put the flower on. So on this one, you would definitely cut out the stem and then add the flower, those dies afterwards. Really, guys, I'm sorry. I should have done a little more preparation, but it was a late, light, late night last night, and I didn't get up early enough to really take a look at this set, so I apologize. But that's why I like introducing it to you this way, because then you see it as I see it when you're first unboxing. So see, I sh here's that, and then I would go ahead and add those flowers onto it. See that? All right, so there's one of those stems. Let's see. We did the overall one. Yes, we did the flowers. So we just have these three little ones left over here. So we have this that does this one. See how that lines up right there? Put tape over that. We have this that's going to do this one. And then we have this that you know how we did those two over there? Let me stamp that again. See how much I have left on my ink from, ah, not a lot. Let me go ahead. And of course, stamping it on your stamping platform is not the desired uh, effect you want. Let me do another one up here. Since that one was smudged before. All right. And let's go ahead. And that goes down like that. Let me see if this works. All right. Let's run all those through. down there. There's the two flowers. Sorry, let me put these off to the side here. Here's your leaf. Or I'm sorry, your stem. Yeah, I don't think those would go on there. Then we have this one down here. And again, I shouldn't have stamped the flowers on first, but there you have it. All right. So let's go ahead. So there you are. There's how you cut those all out. Here's this one. 
So six stamps, six dies. Got to clean them off. Let me go ahead and put these on my hand and we'll put this on my chair for right now. All right. So there's that. Let me bring this back over here. You have this, and then you have all of these cutouts from that flower die. Last stack of electricity. Hey, well, while I'm turning these all over, do you want to give me a like? <laughs> I know. A little early in the morning and a little discombobulated. But you can go ahead and see how that stamps. Let me rip that off. Here's that overall cutout. This one was the bad one. But there you have it. So they all work together. You can either stamp it flat or you can start going ahead and adding all these because these all add up or add up, match up to what you see here. So like, see, here's that. Here's this one. So these are all the pieces of that. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking with me through this challenging video. Next time, well, I'm not going to promise, but I hope to be a little more prepared on my next stamp set. I'll show you next week. But come on back tomorrow. I'm going to make some cards with this set and dies, and then we'll make a card together. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great Saturday. Bye for now.